During the reign of King Tut between 1333 BC and 1324 BC, the understanding of iron metallurgy or indeed the casting of such objects was very limited. Iron smelting is the extraction of usable metal from oxidized iron ores. It is vastly more difficult than smelting tin and copper. Such metals could be cold worked in simple pottery kilns and then cast into molds, a process largely accepted as being present within ancient Egyptian times. However, the smelting of iron requires hot working and can only be melted in specially designed extremely heated furnaces. It is therefore not surprising that humans only mastered iron smelting after several millennia of the Bronze Age. However, there is a pair of relics found within ancient Egypt whose sheer existence disproved the officially held chronological account of when these hardened metals were developed. Or do they? Within the ancient wrappings of the sarcophagus, which contained Pharaoh Tutankhamun, two daggers were discovered. Encased in gold sheaths, they were placed there more than 3,000 years prior. One had an iron blade, and the other with a blade made of hardened gold. Yet both are not made from regular metals. Amazingly, these daggers are in fact made from metals not native to Earth. It is officially accepted that it would have been quite difficult nigh impossible for ancient civilizations to have acquired iron in pure states. So most of the pure iron found in weaponry within this mysterious culture are academically accepted as coming from quote, meteoric sources. This explanation may be easier to digest for the majority of population of Earth. However, it is not only a flawed explanation, but illogical. If this ancient Egyptian civilization which possessed knowledge we are yet to rediscover did indeed extract these alien metals from meteorites, yet largely accepted to have not been able to cast such metals, then an obvious question arises. How did they cast the metal into daggers? The official explanation offered provides no answer, as is often the case with out-of-place artifacts. A more logical scenario is that these daggers were in fact the remnants of a far older civilization a civilization responsible for the construction of ancient Egypt. A group of people visited by, or indeed traveled to, people from another world entirely. Additionally, modern advanced metallurgical analysis found that the iron dagger is not a normal meteoritic iron, but a complex, intelligent, and very strong alloy, containing various amounts of nickel, chromium, and cobalt. Furthermore, the nickel content is so high, nearly 25%, it makes this alloy totally different from those made by man. The alchemy required to make such a non-rusting metal was developed many centuries, if not millennia, after King Tut's death. Just where did these daggers come from? How old could they actually be? Were they made as a gift by a race who visited Earth? Apart from our postulations, it seems no one can produce a working theory.